Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to look at the cartography table. We're going to look at how to build it and what you need to do with it. Okay, so first of all, the crafting recipe is super simple. You need four oak planks like that, and then two pieces of paper, and then you get the cartography table. Uh, some of you may be aware that it used to be like that, but it has changed. There we go. It doesn't matter which direction you're standing in when you place this, the cartography table will always be placed in the same orientation, like so. So let's assume you want to clone a map with a cartography table. All you need to do is grab a map, uh, so we've got one from here. If you haven't got a map or don't know how to make one, uh, feel free to check out my video on Minecraft map walls and map making. Uh, go to your cartography table, open it up. Now if you pop an empty map in the bottom, you can see that that icon here changes from a single map to a double duplicated map. You take, take your existing map, pop it in there, and then you get two. So obviously you take copies of the same one and you get a new one. Uh, that means you can then go place the original one back there and you've still got one to play with. So what can you do with your new map now you've made it? Well obviously you're going to want to change the zoom level. So if we come back over here towards the cartography table and we take a piece of paper, pop that in there, you can see that this changes. So obviously that is the standard map, this is then changing the zoom scale. Now we can then pop the map back in there and take that out and that gives us a brand new zoomed in map. What's interesting with this is uh, previously it would cost you eight bits of paper every time you change the zoom level whereas now it only costs one so essentially instead of costing you 40 for everyone it only costs you five now that is a huge saving so what if you want two copies of this map one of them where it doesn't get updated but the other one where it does I hear you go back to cartography table stick that in there and we'll make a copy real quick if we do that then we've got two copies all we need to do is pop one copy in there pop a piece of glass in there and you've got a locked map so we have two maps we've got this one which is locked and this one which is not locked and if I just travel around the world you'll see what happens and there you have it that's one completed map and one locked map that hasn't changed so that's everything you can do with a cartography table and um, as you can see a creeper just blown up behind me and destroyed everything great um, if you enjoyed this episode if you felt like you learned something please give the video a big like and a thumbs up if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and obviously tell your friends about it too because if you like it it's a good chance they will too but as always i've been a geek gamer you've been awesome and thanks for watching goodbye